Hi, this is CS50 Web Project 3, and for this project, we are to build an application that sends and receives emails. And then we have some specifications. We have the send email when a user gets to submit a composition form here, which we can have. Um, let's send to so Lucas2 at example.com, and I can say, this I can just say um, the project and I'll say this okay this is a mail and then we can send and once that email is sent automatically we should get to the send section where the user can see the emails that they have sent and then we also have the mailbox specification where if the user gets to visit their inbox and then we send this email to lucas2 at example.com. Let me log into that. And then, so when this user here gets to visit their inbox, we have the email they got here. And then also, so when that happens, so if the email is on red, then it should appear with a white background but if the email has been read, then it should have um, a gray background. Here it is on red. It has a white background. And once we click on it to reach the content of the email, which is this is a mail. And then if we go back to the inbox, it gets to have a black, um, have a gray background that shows it has, um, it has been read. And then when the user clicks on an email, they should be taken to a view where they can see the content, of course. And then here is it. And then so you click on the inbox, click on the message, and then you will have um this email. And then also we also have the option to archive and unarchive. So when the user views their email, they should have a button where they can archive the email. And then we come over here again, like we did before. Okay, inbox, we click on the email. And then, so we have this archive, and once it is that is done, we come to our archive folder, and then we have it, have it here. And then we click the archived um, mail, we click on, on archive, you come here to the archive, and it is no longer there. And then also, we have this option that the last one to say, where the user can actually reply to uh, a mail. And um, once we do that, we should prefill that form with the recipient should whoever sent um, the original email. And also the last one here, we also should also prefill the body of the email with a line that says like on January 1, 2020, so, 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 sent um, this message. And then when I come here and I click on this, I have the reply button. And then on January 10, 2023, 4.03 a.m., Look us at example.com wrote, this is a mail. And then once we do this, and then I will say, thank you. The mail project worked. And then, so if I get to send back to uh, look at that example, because I prefer that um, field with the original sender's name. And once I submit, I go back to look at example.com. Okay. And then I have the response here. I click on it and then thank you. The project, the new project worked. And that was CSUC Web Project 3.